Oh, hey friends, what's up? Welcome. Welcome. Or welcome back to my channel. Hello. <laughs> Why was that so unsure? Hey, if you're new here, my name's Chanel. I'm your resident movie watching BFF. This is my reaction and commentary channel, the channel where we watch movies together and I let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time I'm watching them. And I like to call out filmmaker elements and filmmaking fun stuff because that's the most fun for me and I hope it's pretty fun for you too. Or I hope you just get something extra out of the movies that you already know and love. Okay, anyway, wasn't really sure what I wanted to watch today, but I think I'm craving a Western, so today's movie is going to be Silverado from 1985. I hope this isn't negative, a negative thing to say. This one seems like campier and maybe more fun. I hope I'm wrong about it being like campier. Like maybe I, I just have it in my head. Silverado. It sounds like a like a cartoon. <laughs> I bet it's not actually. I bet this is actually a true blue western just set in um just made in 1985. Um a misfit bunch of friends come together to write the injustices which exist in a small town. Uh hello western. It's kind of what we're used to. Director Lawrence Kasdan. 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 Kevin Klein, Scott Glenn, Kevin Costner. Oh, we saw Kevin Costner do we saw Kevin Costner do Dances with Wolves. There's Danny Glover, Jeff Goldblum. This is going to be fun. And yeah, I'm actually, I don't want to look up anymore. I just, um, I want to take the ride of a Western today. This is the point in my video where I'm going to thank the members who sit on my $15 tier on Patreon. Because they're on my $15 tier, they get a special shout out in every single one of my videos. This month, we are thanking... Louise, Sonic Paintbrush, Janice Kenneth, Ramey, Rebecca, Simon, Ube Relder, C. Palmer, Alex, Muggy, DJ Kento, John, Cody, Christopher, Courtney, Kevin, Reef, Ethan, Tom, Hemi Chonga, David, Berwinkle, Brian, Sean, Grismore, Daniel, Jason, and Moto Dork. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Just that much extra. If you'd like to join them, Patreon information in the description box below. Hit the link. Go sign up. Be a part of my team, my squad. But um, you guys know the drill. Without further ado, let's just get right into Silverado from 1985. I feel like every Western ever starts in this quiet like this. Middle of the night, creaky, creaky house. Or barn. I wasn't ready for the loud noises, you guys. <laughs> That gun toss was silly, silly fun. Hey, gorgeous. Hey, girl. It's always a man defending his property or his house, right? Classic. Classic. I was just thinking when we catch John Cleese's voice, it's going to be so iconic for me, I hope. And then I laughed because sometimes I miss really key people. I love this score already. The only thing I'm wondering is, was his horse branded with those double diamonds? That's beautiful. The two horses pull out to this shot is pretty cool. It's just beautiful. Should probably wake him up first, don't we think? I always figure you might as well approach life like everybody's your friend or nobody is. Don't make much difference. Not during this time, buddy. At least they didn't kill me. Looks like those boys are headed south, so they weren't the same ones that jumped me. Different guys. Is he serious with that? That is pure camp right there. All right, what can I give for that? Firecracker. Mm. 
How do I know this is your horse? Can't you see this horse loves me? <laughs> On the underside of that saddle, I got my name scratched. So take a look and you'll see. And what would your name be? Hayden. P-A-D-E-N. Hey, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Proves it. Where's the dog? Appreciate the loan. I'm looking for some men. I'm giving that up. So am I. They always give it up, you guys. <laughs> They're always on the way out, let me tell you. Hey, look who's here, Tyree. Ooh, bad boy. Yeah, I invited Peyton to join us, but he's not having any. <laughs> I love the way these things start. Where's the dog? <laughs> he said that. You owe me $13. 13. Bad luck. Okay, script. 13, bad luck. It's a great one. Black with Pretty silver band on it. Silverado. Years training it. Really do miss that hat. He's like Harry Potter without his wand. Got a saloon? March back. Women? Babes, broads, dames. Okay, Snow, where are we? Hey, girl. You're not Baxter? My name's Evan. You're not Baxter either. No, I'm not Holly. God damn it, they ain't Baxter and Holly. Where the hell is Baxter and this Holly? This movie has a little comedy. Yes, sir. That means we'll just have to get you people to Silverado that much quicker. All right, let's get going. Get you to Silverado. It's the job. Half now and half when we get there. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Over the box, Ev. Half now, half when we get there. Classic. Let's get this wagon train on its way to Silverado. You bet! I love when you can see the writing all up over it. I'm gonna call it 1985. When the exposition is so clear, it just makes me so happy. When they're like, half now, half later. Can't wait to get to Silverado. <laughs> what do you want? Oh, evil. What do you want? What are you doing, Buck? He ain't getting it here. Doesn't look quite fair. Which way do you mean? <laughs> Which way do you mean? What's all this then? The voice. This is breaking up my place, Sheriff Langston. I don't like that word much, Carter. Yes. In fact, I want you all the way out of my jurisdiction. That ain't right. I decide what's right in this jurisdiction now. Ugh, I get so angry feeling. I'm Sheriff John Langston. As you may have guessed, I am not from these parts. I was gonna say, what's he doing here? Now I want everyone to behave himself. Is he in jail? <gasps> Costner. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to see you. Be back. <laughs> Can't wait to see what accent he's chosen. <laughs> Was it self-defense? Honestly, God, he would have killed me. So this is the guy you're gonna hang? Cause now we gotta bust him out of here. Right. Can I help? All right. I wish I did So long, kid. I'm sorry. Director is utilizing some long takes. You know, they're not they're not good fellas long, but they're the camera's kind of just on a tripod and letting things breathe. You know, play out. I gotta bust him out of there. You have to deal me out on that. I don't want any more. I'm out. He's my brother. Oh. His hat? Is that his hat? Yes. He described it. I hope your fingers aren't tickling my ivory handled cold. I have a feeling they are. Music's getting tense. 
Oh, now we're in a bind, friends. <laughs> Making a big mistake. That's what I told him. Kevin Costner is so goofy. Do you guys think that? I can't say I'm convinced you're going anywhere. We sure are. We're leaving it. He's behaving like a little kid brother, don't you think? Sheriff Langston, come quick! Lock the door. Give that kid a golden globe. <laughs> I love this. Why well, Pete used to do this all by... Is, is Kevin Costner playing not maybe not the brightest bulb in the tanning bed? He left. Like hell. This is the only way out. Ah. <laughs> This movie is funny. This has laughs, laughs and lols. Sucks, John Cleese. Put it away. You guys gotta comment below if this is not Kevin Costner's goofiest role ever. I was gonna say, I can't wait for them to get on the road. And it looks like we're about to get on the road. This is a very classic score. It's it's like, it kind of sounds iconic already to me, which is weird because I've never heard it. Is it like reminiscent of Back to the Future maybe? Or it reminds me of Indiana Jones-ish esque. Today, my jurisdiction ends here. Let's go. Turn around. 10 o'clock! <laughs> yeah, who's in the rocks? Is it their buddy from the bar? What's his name? This a friend of yours? Yeah, I was like, D Glover, Danny Glover. <laughs> I'm so happy. There's gonna be four of them. Okay, Tombstone. This is a, this is a free Tombstone. This, my friends, is why we go to the movies. Look at it. <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> 10 out of 10, right guys? Baxter and Holly killed poor Ev and stole the money box. Ooh. How long they been gone? About an hour. We'll take the job. Heal me in. Even if you do get the money, how do we know you'll come back? You don't. If we don't, you can keep my brother. Maybe I better stay here with her. Shut up. What the hell are you talking about? Me and my partner robbed a bank in Turley, headed out with a posse on our tails. You brought a posse to my best hideout? I mind. No money, huh? It's in my saddlebags. I ain't getting out in the open to get it. That's a good plan. Catch that up real quick. Are they shooting just for show? I think there's only a couple of guys up there and this asshole is one of them. They got it. That was fast. Maybe 85 and to like 92 was just the time for a score like this because it just sounds like this era. I knew it. Now put that box on my horse. No. Mister, you got a lot to learn about people. Fast. That sequence was super quick. They were only an hour away. Get in, get out. How happy are you guys that you were not alive during this time? Yeah, maybe we'll see you around sometime. Yeah, maybe. So long. Oh, we'll catch him before this movie's up. See you in Silverado, babe. I'll be there. Meet you there. Mr. and Mrs. Parker have agreed to join their parcel to mine. We'll work them together. Pretty land, isn't it? A pretty lady. I knew he was going to say that. After a while, I won't be so pretty. But this land will be. 
Ma'am, I think I love you. Sis. Hi, JT. Jay Coward. Things feel too happy. What's going to happen? Hmm. This has mom gone. Daddy? <laughs> Where's Ray? She's gone. Gone to town. She hated working. More long takes. Like, they're not... They're keeping the camera wide, they're following, they're not cutting in and giving me my close-ups. Do you feel this? You own this land. I paid the government for it, all right? That don't mean much out here. Malachi. Ah. Uh. Who's that with you, Ezra? This is my son. He's come home. Ain't that sweet, Red? You ever seen what a Henry rifle can do in the hands of somebody who knows how to use it? You? Nifty. The world is what you make of it, friend. If it doesn't fit, you like a good saloon? It's the only place I'm happy. Me too. What's wrong with Ha <laughs> ha! I love them. Why'd you go into business with him? I don't own this place. The man who does stuck me with Kelly. Who's the owner? Ugh, Kelly. You look fine tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> they know each other. Stella, this is one of my oldest surviving friends. Treat him right. You didn't come all this way just to pay me back that money, did you? You owe me $13. <clears throat> Welcome to heaven. <laughs> Welcome to heaven shows his badge. Feels like hell, am I right? <laughs> Where is this going? I thought the whole movie would be Get to Silverado. We are there. What's happening? Got a lot of storylines going forward. I ordered I to run you two out of here. You couldn't leave well enough alone, could you, old man? <laughs> I really hope they didn't kill the dad. <laughs> Now we're going for revenge. Kelly! We're gonna make an adjustment. I wanted you to be here when I offered Peyton your job. <laughs> you can't do this. Really? <laughs> That's pretty classic, right? The double doors throw someone out. Westerns. How about Peyton? You want the job? So you're an understanding boss. Well, nothing like that would ever happen between us. Right. You'd be welcome. No, Kelly, he'll kill you! I was just gonna say, it's pretty crazy that I got solved without guns. <clears throat> Didn't have much choice. Oh, that's a bad man. But what separates the bad men from the good men in this movie? <laughs> Not a whole lot, you know? Your belief about yourself. Self-defense. I never enjoy killing a man. <laughs> Jeff. Hope it's not this gentleman. Jeff Goldblum, you did not just roll up in a fur. Oh my god. The fly himself. This is insane. This is melodrama. He's, it's gonna be like those two facing off at the end and he like throws $13 at him and he's like happy now and then he shoots him or something. A grown man can't have a little boy with him everywhere he goes. Yeah. Grown man. I did think he was acting a lot like a kid brother. I thought you were done with our family. Daddy's dead. He was murdered. 
Calvin Sanhope. But my mother called me Slick. Excuse me. My mother called me Slick. Ugh. What are you doing here, Ray? This ain't for you. That's none of your business. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. It was such a perfectly fun party. No. Get it, Kevin Costner. You hot that horse. That's the good stuff. Oh yeah? How good? This is so wholesome. Nothing better happen to Stella in this movie. I will die. I'll be so upset. I don't believe a lady has to explain anything to a man this ugly. All I did was kiss the girl. I should have killed you a long time ago. Don't do it, Tyree. I just lost a partner. If you kill him, I'll never get anyone to work in here. You really are a gambler, aren't you? That was scary. The man who lost this horse must have been working for you. I should have known. That's who jumped him in the beginning. We were wondering whose horse that was since the opening. Getting good. And somewhere along the line, we picked up this dog. One of the boys took to feeding it, so it followed us everywhere. Oh my gosh, they kept asking in the beginning, where's the dog? Well, before you know it, Peyton is off his horse, and he's holding this dog. He had gone all strange on us. Said we should go on without him. Hell, I thought he was kidding at first, but he wasn't. Peyton didn't even like that damn dog. It evened out in the end. We got the backstory. Where's the dog now? He left me. <laughs> Come on, Peyton. Ugh, these two. Ugh, I don't like it. This is a lot of money. I told you this was a sweet setup. Maybe you could run it without Stella. No. I have my responsibilities. I just want you to understand it has nothing to do with us. Until I put a bullet in your back. If you're taking on Emmett, the last place I want to be is between you. <sighs> Team Emmett. But his, his brother is going to... His brother's really going to f*** some up for him, I feel like. Keep kissing girls. You're empty, mister. Ugh, oh, poor Emmett. I wouldn't go anywhere alone in the Wild West. You just can't. You need to cover at all times. Ain't you dead yet, mister? Cop said he'd be hard to kill. He missed the whole thing. Is that Mal? Who is that? Oh, I cannot wait to play that back. That looks like a fake hand. I don't want to kill you and you don't want to be dead. I think we should do like he says. Other hand. Get it, Mal. I don't want to kill you and you don't want to be dead. Good line. This was my father's. The man who killed him took it. Same guys. You be careful. You're in it now. It's gonna get mean. This is it, you guys, right? Race to the end, race to the death. Get out. We have nothing to talk about. Ray, I need help. So why come to me? Because you're my sister. He ain't Miss Loon either. Where is that boy? Oh, where's Jake? Is he kissing some girl somewhere? That was so weird. He's a climber. Why him? You need help, don't you? What up, Slick? Jake said he'd meet you behind the church. Be careful, they're all over the place. Did Jake say that? Jake seemed tied up. I'm confused. Well, you must be Ezra Johnson's boy. Not Jake. Don't 
go shoot the sheriff. That's against the law. I was about to say, they set him up. What the hell? Jake would never say that. Then we're going to give you a fair trial. <laughs> followed by a first class hanging. <laughs> oh, this is getting so messy. And then Peyton has like been warned, don't get in between me and my business. So messy, so messy. What happened to Emmett? Cobb's men just about killed him. That's what happened. I got there just short of too late. Just short of too late. Your friends have been beating me to find that out. You think I'm just gonna tell you? This reminds me a little bit of the game Survivor in that it's the Wild West. It's like, who has your allegiance? Who doesn't? Who do you double cross? Who do you sell out? What is it? <laughs> this guy is going to get himself and everyone around him murdered. Oh, Kate. I don't like this angle. He's going to get shot from behind. Well, Jake's been with me all evening. I just left him. Even after Slick came to get him? Slick didn't come. Uh, babe. Now she knows. Ah! Innocent family. It's a kid. Yes, girl. Mess up slick for life. This town. I hate Silverado. Why only you go over there and help out? Stella. Give it up. Yeah, I don't know about these buckets, my friends. <sighs> Gonna have to look into this. Yeah, maybe I will too. A little independent site inspection of my own. They took the little boy, Cobb. Oh, this means war. I saw how you're putting Mal Johnson straight. You got nothing I need. You got nothing I need? So good. It's fighting words. <gasps> Cobb's got something on you, and it must be pretty good. Yeah, what the hell? If he didn't, you'd never sit still with all this going on. Cobb says there's no telling what you're going to care about. Is that what he said? Well, he figured it okay this time. Won't be easy, you know. <laughs> no. It's a bad place. This is a really bad place. Okay, Mal. Jeez. This is just, this is tough. Protect Stella at all costs. Please and thanks. Some people think because they're stronger or meaner, they can push you around. <gasps> Cobb. He can't hurt me if he's dead. You know what I'm saying. He can't hurt me if he's dead. Go get Doc Skinner and bring him to the shed. You better get in there with her until this thing is over. <sighs> Where's Jake? The Kendricks man got him. They took him at your sister's house. Her husband was shot. I don't know if he's gonna make it. And they took Augie. They took the little boy with him. Close up, close up, because health can know. It's the most important information in the scene. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Listen to the score. This ought to do. 
this all to do. <laughs> <laughs> Movies, man. Night. Get Kyle and Dusty over here. And keep your eyes open. We're not out of deputies. That performance where he just looks inconvenienced. Like, not devastated. Just like, oh, damn it. <laughs> What am I hearing in my head? Is it E.T.? Dun, 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 dun. Maybe it's Jurassic. This has got to be like one of the most iconic scores ever, right? Am I crazy? Comment below. I wasn't around in 1985. What was going on? How are we getting this? Every time the good guys get one. When Cobb said there's no telling what he's going to care about, he meant Stella, right? I'm pretty sure. Smart gal she is, put two and two together, and she said, Get out of here. Uncle Emmett. Augie, where's Jake? He's dead. Why? Fell off his horse. That doesn't track fully. And we did not see Jake die on camera. On screen. We, he's always swinging, climbing, dangling. Yeah. This is fun. This part has pizzazz, finesse. Where have you been? Playing dead. Playing dead. I wonder how well documented these types of standoffs are. Because my whole thing is like, this could go on forever. It's going on for days. Hi, guys! Come on, Augie, jump! Ugh. Whoa! Ah. It's the whoa for me. <laughs> it used to be a peaceful town. Right. What's going on, Sheriff? Hide and watch. Hide and watch is probably the best advice anyone's ever given in this movie. You wait till we get back. Don't come in. The winsome foursome. Good luck. That's cool. Extreme wide shot. Oh, keep him away. <gasps> no. Oh, he is energetic. Somebody had breakfast this morning, you know? <laughs> Kevin Costner's doing a great job. It's pretty funny to me. He's very energetic in this. guy kill him i'm glad you're here i've been watching her but she needs a doctor nope 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 looking for this good night jeff goldblum it's a wrap on him 
heart attack territory. We're gonna talk about this after, but who do you guys think the main character is? Get away, get a gun. I feel like my heart rate mimics the beats per minute of the song. <laughs> Hope you like looking at that now. It's a sweet deal for us. Yeah. Bad luck. 13, bad luck. With Stella there. That's how it had to be. That's how it had to be. Epic, right? We knew it. Had to end like that with Stella watching. To California. 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 Take care of yourself, you hear? You too. Yay, she's alive. Aren't you gonna come out and say goodbye? I already did that. So long, Caden. So long, Jake. Peyton stays here as, like, sheriff, a non-corrupt one. Yeah, you might make a farmer, yeah. I got a job. Sheriff, 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 show me the badge. <laughs> this movie's so dumb. <laughs> we came into your town and really f shit up, but then we put it back together again. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, Silverado from 1985. I have now seen it. And I thought that that was a very valiant entry into our Westerns on the channel. Very fun, very classic. I saw a ton of homage work maybe in Tombstone. Like this kind of, this came before it. So the, the, a lot of the four shots, the foursomes. Um, what year was Tombstone? But the plotting, 93 was Tombstone. Very classic. Um, this town ain't big enough for the two of us or four of us. New guys ride in. Somebody's trying to leave their old life behind. Like, those tropes really make me laugh, you guys. I think it is so Hollywood, in my opinion. And, ho like, when something is just ridiculously Hollywood, I'm laughing. It's the best. I'm, I'm laughing with joy, I want to be clear. I'm not laughing um because it's corny but there is some corny elements to this movie location we have to look up i said this score holy sh we have to look that up and then like it's our guy with a heart you know it's our killing cowboy but he has a heart he cares about the dog and he cares about stella so i really like these characters i think what uh, my final word and what westerns do for me is they provide really good characters great character study and everyone's a little grimy but we love them for it so i'm obsessed with the characters i always love good characters and these are some good characters so let's look at location white rock new mexico the opening scene was new mexico most of this was santa fe new mexico santa fe okay it's new mexico budget i don't know we got four really big stars but it didn't seem too bad 50k 26 1985 dollars am i right and let's look at some trivia let's see if we can't figure out some fun behind the scenes. The set for Silverado was built for this movie. It has since been used in Young Guns, Wyatt Earp, Last Man Standing, Lonesome Dove, All the Pretty Horses, Wild Wild West. Cool. John Cleese's first line, What Soul This Then, is a Monty Python in-joke. Oh, cool. After working with Kevin Klein on this film, John Cleese wrote A Fish Called Wanda. Cool. Specifically with Klein in mind. I was going to say Rosanna Arquette is top build but many of her scenes apparently ended up on the cutting room floor debut theatrical feature film for richard jenkins i wish i caught it that would have been fun natural landscape environment as a key setting has been the trademark of lawrence kasdan written and or directed movies such as wyatt earp darling companion grand canyon continental divide and raiders of the lost ark <gasps> was 
Was this score so iconic because it sounded like Raiders of the Lost Ark? Oh my gosh. We can't waste any more time. But Raiders is John Williams, right? This sounded like an Indiana Jones movie. <sighs> it's okay, Chanel. We'll find it. Bruce Broughton did the score. Principal photography ran for 96 days. It's <laughs> a lot. Nominated for Academy Awards for Best Sound, Best Original Score, but failed to win in either category. This score is crazy good. I'm shocked. I feel like not enough people are talking about it. Including Included among the American Film Institute's 2005 list of 250 movies nominated for AFI's 100 Years of Film Scores. That was a mouthful. Why did I read that fact? <laughs> Oh my god, I knew this name sounded familiar, but I didn't know how familiar. Lawrence Kasdan also wrote Star Wars Episode Five: Empire Strikes Back, and Star Wars Episode IV, uh, Six Return of the Jedi. Whoa. Scott Glenn and Jeff Goldblum previously appeared together in The Right Stuff. Director Philip Kaufman is credited with the idea of Indy going after the Ark of the Covenant in Raiders of the Lost Ark, which Lawrence Kasdan wrote. Goldblum also worked with Spielberg on Jurassic Park, as did Danny Glover in The Color Purple. I'm seeing all the connections. Ah, that's it on the trivia. There's not that much. I didn't write down too much more. Um, I think I want to talk about who's the main character for you in Silverado. I think I thought it would be Emmett, which is who we opened on. And then he meets up very quickly with Peyton. And then you're like, okay, it's those two. And then I was like, then the main character is kind of Peyton. But I really do think it's those two. I think it kind of switches off. I think that's pretty rare. In films, usually there's definitely one guy. And in this, there's two. And then maybe even four. Um, Jake and... Mal are a little bit more minor but yeah who's the main character for you that's interesting what do you think of this script I think it can be a little corny campy but in the most fun Hollywood way I can think of and I remember thinking the sound effects were a little funny but in a way that highlights the genre you know what I'm saying so to me this is a lot of fun I'm really enjoying Western so obviously if you have more to talk about Come them below. So you have now seen my reaction to Silverado from 1985. Let me know what you think of this one. Where were you? What were you doing? Who were you with when you first caught it? And what did you think? Um, if you want my full length reaction to this, I have a Patreon. So you hit that link in my description box below and it'll take you there where you can see my full length unedited reaction to this movie and hundreds of others. I don't know. I don't know your life. And on that note, I'm going to go eat.